pooch. If that coil wasn't any good, it should have started by now. <laughs> See if we can drain this bowl over here and get some of the crap out of it. I think that's probably why it's running like crap, is because I think there's probably water down in the bowl. I don't know if I can get to it from here or not. I got the exhaust nice and hot now. That's kind of smart. Maybe we're just not getting it into the bowl. Let's just give it a couple taps. Yeah. We'll just give the bowl a couple taps. into that fuel line again. All right. I'm going to drain the fuel out of this side of the circuit at least. 
And maybe if I drain it out here, it'll come out of the carb too. I kind of doubt it, but it might. Let's try. The fuel pump's lower than the carb right now, so. Come on. I don't think this fuel pump's actually pulling any fuel. It's kind of hard to say, but I don't think it is. This, will, this way we can see what's, what kind of flow we've got from the tank, too. I suspect we don't have very good flow from the tank. And that's, yeah, we should get a good steady stream out of there. And we are not. Fuel's so, starting to look a little better. Ugh. Ugh. Man, that's foul, dude. What is in that? Oh my god. It's mostly water. <laughs> oh, there's your problem. It's not one of them. It's mostly water. That crap just came out of the tank and it is gross. I just blew into the line. Coming back out, let's see what we get. Get anything? Oh, here we go. Look at the crap. That's a brand new. Well, it's not brand new, I guess, but. So I just blew through the line, and now nothing's coming back. Let's drop it nice and low. Oh, dude, that is just foul. All right. We have some fuel from the tank, maybe? Maybe not. It's not really gravity feeding very well. If it comes up to here, so this is where the inlet of the pump is. So if it can't feed, that pump should be able to pull, but if I got a good gravity feed, it should. Looks like. Yeah, we had fuel in the inlet right there. Oh man, I don't, let me just grab a little piece of that fuel line. See if I can blow into the carburetor. And if the needle is stuck, it might tuck itself loose. There's probably a bunch of water down in that hole, if I had to guess. Because this just looks so bad. I'm going to blow on the fuel line again, see if we get something up out of here. There we go. Oh, she's flowing now. Ooh. it'll pull on him, but it's, I think that fitting should be rotated down like that, I think it should be over here, but it shouldn't matter that much, Be able to get some fuel from there, but I don't know. We might not be pulling any fuel. Uh, uh just for gigs, let's uh, let's crank it again and see if anything's changed. <laughs> Some more go juice and see if it acts any better. 
So the, I noticed the choke is actually not working. When I'm pulling this lever, the choke is not actually working. So something's going on in there. say this ain't gonna happen it needs more work than a little tap tap on the fuel bowl we've got some major stuff going on we've got a fuel supply issue and we've got a fuel delivery issue uh, we do have spark compression which is great um, but I think we'll give her another couple wraps on the carburetor and see if we get it to act any better, but I don't think we're going to. I think it's just too many different things. Too many different things going on at once. Come on. What in the... I'm going to get this plate off so I can get to this carbon bowl. I had those wrenched on there good. Oh, sweet. More wind and snow. Alright. You like that? You like that gasket? That's pretty sweet. Doesn't look like we have a lot of blow by, at least if this uh, breather tube connection here is any indication. That's good. Engine internally might be okay. Yeah. So that my suspicion was correct. This is a choke contr control. That is unbelievable, dude. Unbelievable. And inside our carburetor is rust. So this is not looking good. Jesus. What did they? What is going on there? How? How is this possibly that tight? What is going on? Dude, what is happening with this carburetor ball? I've never seen anything like this. How can it be that tight? Oh, that's scary. Is it just gonna snap? Oh, that's nuts, dude. What did they do? That should just be like a little past hand tight. It shouldn't be like that. That's nuts. Whew. I'm working it slow because I'm not very confident that they didn't. Oh man, did they cross thread it or what? Oh boy. feeling about this. I got a real bad feeling about this. Alright, so the plan was to do that. <laughs> and now it seems like the plan should be to do something else because I don't really want to snap that. I, I just, how is that possible? Oh, it feels so bad. Maybe it's rusted inside the bowl. Maybe there really is like a ton of water in there and it's just rusted inside the bowl. And the bolt is, is rusted to the, or is uh, seized to the aluminum in the carb body. Let me ask what's going on here. Maybe this thing hasn't run in a long time. Maybe it sat outside for even longer. And maybe somebody decided that they didn't need a choke cable. Instead, what they needed was a string. 
That's nuts. I think it's starting to break loose. He's not happy though. Got a couple turns out of it. Coming. Oh, what is this? What is this shoe? Oh, it doesn't even smell like gas. There it goes. Yeah, it was rust. Oh man, this carburetor is not going to meet her. Why would it? Would you think that that would possibly work? Jeez. Well, let's see if the fuel pump pumps anything out of that hose. Or out of the, uh, is the float stuck too? Float's probably stuck, isn't it? Oh yeah, the float's solid, dude. It's like, <laughs> it is not going anywhere. This thing hasn't run in a long time. Like a very long time. All right, well, I got the, the needle to come down. Here. Let's see if fuel comes out the bowl now if I get the pump cranking. After seeing the condition of that carburetor and knowing that there's nothing but water in the tank, I think we're just going to call it quits, push it off here. And uh, yeah, it's continuing to snow and wind, so eh, 50 bucks. <laughs>